Okay, first thing you'll be doing is there is a warm up sheet for you on Canvas. And what you'll do is you'll just download it, open it up. You should have something that kind of looks like this. It's just going to be some basic activities just as a review of the different tools in Illustrator. Uh, for some of these, you'll use the brush tools. Uh, you'll have to use your direct and your selection arrows, and you'll need the Pathfinder tools for this one in particular. So go ahead and just go through this first. And then what you're going to do is we are going to move on to signatures. Now what you're going to do is you're going to create a little sample to design your own signatures. And I've listed some examples here on the module so you can kind of have an idea of what other people have done. And you can see they really vary from very simple ones like this to complicated ones like these. And it really just kind of depends on what you're wanting to do with your personal logo. For instance, uh, the way I use mine is I put it on all of my artwork as a logo or perhaps if you want you can put it on business cards. There's really a whole bunch that you could do with it. So what you're going to do is you're just going to make a document. Is you're just going to make a document in Illustrator and you're going to create four different logos. And these are just kind of going to, you're just going to experiment and try and find something you like. Uh, if you want, they can all have a common theme. Like, for instance, if you really like iguanas or something, all of your logos can have an iguana incorporated into them. They just have to be different. Like, for instance, in the case of these, I incorporated my initials into all of them. They're just designed differently. Now what you are going to do is once you've designed four different logos, you're going to pick the one you like best and then you're going to do a black and white version of it. So I decided to go with this one here. So I decided to go with this one here. This is the one that I actually use more commonly. Uh, one I used to use was like this, but sometimes the colors would class of the project or I didn't want it to stand out that much. So I did a grayscale version of it as well. So just kind of mess around, try and find something you like. I want each of these to look professional and finished. So don't have them be very sketchy. Make sure they have clean lines and they have smooth colors and things like that. And then just go ahead and turn the AI file into Canvas when you're done.